in storage for a while, but I do love them. Uh, right now, they're very, very disheveled, and I'm sorry. Um, my Puffalumps right there, my Hello Kitty, all my Care Bears are mixed in. A Poochie's brand new. That's actually a dog toy, but it's way too huge to be a dog toy. Um, I'm just got a mixture around here. This is my little couch. I sadly don't hang out in there in here as much as I wanted to anyway, but um, when I'd craft or have friends over, we definitely had some good times in here. Um, there's a baby Care Bear blanket someone made. That came from Target last year. That came from the doll show. That came from Goodwill. I made this candy pillow. Uh, I bought that for my mom. Uh, Popples came from assorted places. I don't remember right now. Um, this is the ballerina Barbie bedding from the 90s that everybody remembers. And I had to have it. I got that from Michael. Um, between her and me, we find the best stuff. Over here is where some of my... I think you guys know my gray, Grail toys. That Rapunzel from Disney Store was one of my Grails that Will got me for Christmas one year. Right next to it are two Grails. Um, Magic Nursery Pet Kitty and my Nosy Bunny, which is like a nosy bear. Uh, Rapunzel artwork. This is a Lady Lo Lovely Lux tray. Michael got me for my birthday, which I loved. This is my favorite shelf ever. This corner shelf came from a Goodwill. 12 hours away from where we live or where we lived this is a Care Bear calendar I got from Dollar Tree last year this I got off an Instagram sale and it's I don't know where it originally came from but it was like two dollars and it's a yum yums pouch and it's filled with stuff I just kind of wedged it on the shelf um, this one I got for my birthday this one came from Michael last year um, I have some just boxes put beside here um, I have way more plushies down here that you can't see, and I'm sorry about that. Okay, so down here is a Rapunzel bank Will got me for Valentine's Day one year, many years ago. A little Twin Stars Broly backpack that Michael got me a few years back as well. My ball-jointed dolls are over here. Here is Mocha, my Dolphy Dream. This is a A-Zone um, hybrid with a Obitsu body. This is Cocoa. This Mocha and Cocoa from Rosario Vampire kind of theme, but it's not completely. This is Alice. This was my first ever BJD. She's very yellow because she's actually from 2005, but I got her in 2013, no, 2014. This is Dinah, and this is Ayla. I have a few more little ones that are in the other room right now. I can't show you. I had more potential for this top shelf that was going to be more of a party cake birthday theme with some stuff like this. Um, this is the Barbie Michael got for my birthday. That's a birthday Barbie. Um, this is just some random stuff. Some stuff I opened on a video. Some stuff I've had for a while. Um, let's go ahead and go up here. So this shelf was kind of ugly when we got it for free, along with all the other shelves. Um, but I painted it pink last year. And here are my Gem and the Holograms dolls. This box goes to my Gem and Holograms earrings. We're going to see in a minute. Two black and white Barbie items. My Monchi Chi. Um, this is a Barbie farm blind bag thing. One of my alpaca sews. Um, Doki Doki Crate, Doki Doki Crate. Sailor Moon wand. My compact. This is the little book and the earrings that go in that box. We have two Toki Doki Unicornos, which actually there's a third one if you guys watch my um thrifting haul video because michael brought some things over as gifts and they're just included in the video this is a picture frame i got and i threw um that wrapping paper you guys saw earlier in the video in it because i thought it was really cute it was like me and will okay so here is the Toki Doki collection i added one of the target cupcake stands and i added the kitty cone boxes to elevate my Toki Doki collection so it didn't look so cluttered it actually looks really cute now i actually really really love it my G2 ponies are up there. I've got Sailor Moon dolls up here. Um, DJ Vanisher made this one, and DJ Vanisher gave me this one um, before she moved. I have a Totsie Fagie right there. That's the clock that was in the stand earlier. This is one of those Wish keychains. Don't ever, they, they broke instantly. I'd glue it. Kitty cones, like you saw the boxes. Um, these are all my puppy surprise um, animals that will hates puppy surprises but i can get away with the babies because they're super tiny um you can see the twin shelves over here oh and then that's a tokidoki 
little thing I got a long time ago. Okay, up here is this really long shelf filled with G1 ponies. Um, a mixture of them came from Michael. Uh, I bought a few, and then the rest came from DJ Vanisher from her childhood that she gave me um, last year before she moved. I have some some G4 blind bags. These are filled with earrings organized according to like goth earrings and kawaii earrings. I have little lost kitties over here, a poochie uh, speaker from the 80s, unicorn fairy lights from uh, Dollar Tree. Again, not more of those because we're back over here. We have a popples art. We have some more of the cross stitch. This is my cute lamp. I cutified even more that I got for like four dollars at, I believe, Walmart. My cup that's my melody came from Walmart, and I just kind of put all my favorite pens in here. My pusheen, my squishy milk. I this is the little guy I found at the park. Some pens and stuff like that. My sewing machine. This is just kind of a little mix. Miscellaneous. My other pin collection. You guys can check that out. My Polly Pocket makeup. Um, some pearls and stuff I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got two brush pads in here because they're really cute. Jewelry box. Um, some pins I had on my old work hat. Stickers. Extra stuff. Extra sewing stuff. Art book. Well, not art books. Sketchbooks. Notebooks and such. All my craft supplies are underneath my desk. This is technically not really a desk, but I made it work. Um, this is the stuff you will see in the hall, sitting on top of the chair. I did the video of when I kind of cutified that. I have an entire My Little Pony book full of My Little Pony cards and miscellaneous collector cards that I like. And down there is a whole bunch of mason jars with craft supplies. I have a mystery box we did on a stream one time. This is the recent acquisition, this cube shelf. So this is the, sadly, this has only been up for two weeks and I only made it this cute about a week and a half ago. So there's this shelf that I kind of called Strawberry Land, but unintentionally Strawberry Land. It's really cute. And then I have the first of the Hello Kitty Shrine. There's a mixture of curvy Barbies and then the one that's supposed to be me in Hello Kitty Land. We have Monster High vinyls of every kind over here in the middle. And then we have this one that we call also Kawaii Land mixed with Hello Kitty pull-up dolls. And a Jenny doll from, I believe, Korea. We have Rapunzel animator, Elsa and Anna animator, Tinkerbell animator. Over here by the Monster High section was the miscellaneous, but mostly where the Shopkin Shoppies come to play and apparently Care Bears. This is the sad section that I never got to do of uh, retro Disney dolls and miscellaneous dolls. And so this is just gonna get boxed off sadly. But yeah, this is... Let's just show you some of my ponies. I... Hey guys, this is the final thrift haul in this house and I have been putting this off for a couple days because it has been ridiculously hot and I've cooled the room down just enough so I can get this done. Um, not only is it stuff for my mother-in-law to be at this point, it's a few gifts from friends and a few Dollar Tree items that we found. Um, let's start with the clothes my mother-in-law uh, to be picked out. Well, me and her went shopping and stuff like that and this has got like, it's black um, fleece pajamas that look like snow and it's Mickey Mouse for the winter. Really cute since we're gonna live up in the mountains. We need some warm clothes. It's all Disney themed, it's old Disney store stuff. Um, this is abs this is from Mickey Unlimited. Love that tag. But it's super cute and it's super comfy. It's nowhere near cold right now. It's actually boiling hot lately, so So what is it about this place? Anyway. I got interrupted. It's cool. Um, this is actually a really cool Mickey cardigan. It's got two pockets on each side. It's buttoned up. Um, it's from Disney Originals, and it literally says Disney Parks and Resorts on it. And she found me this, and I, like, ran over to try it on. It was the comfiest, softest thing. It was so cool. And then the last thing is a 90s Disney store 
Disney catalog. I remember seeing stuff like this. It's just covered in Winnie the Pooh, like characters and stuff, all on the sleeves and stuff, and denim, you know, it's kind of expensive. Uh, each one of these items, I think, was like $9, too. The classic Disney store logo. I love it. Super cute. Super comfy. Super, super, super comfy. Um, as you can see, we also found this Polly Pocket Barbie. The Polly Pockets are down in there. Um, they're both down in there. But they kind of, I guess, got... Uh out of their spot over time, but the first thing I saw when we went in there uh, was a Skydancer soft plush doll, and she is amazing. It looks like she's been open before, but so I may debox her in the future, but for now, um, also she was only $6.50, which I absolutely couldn't believe, and the Barbie was $5.00. Um, also there... Well, hey there, Wonder Friends. What are we looking at today? Wow! My rug can't is can't limp. Be, yeah. My rug is limp. These are Aladdin placemats from the Disney store from the 90s, I believe. Those were cool. When you pulled those out, I thought those were really unique. There's five of them, and it was like $2. Actually, it may have been less than that, too, because there was some sales and some stuff. So... I'm surprised they even got to walk out of the store with that. That was pretty cool. Uh, what else? Um, there was a two, $2 fill bag at the first place we went to. So there's this little loop seat that's gonna be listed on eBay. Uh, this doll, which looks very wonked right now, um, is by a brand called Lucky. Um, from the 90s and late 80s if you guys saw this bunny on stuff growing up that's the brand and then we have a Kim Possible doll that will be listed on eBay this is already listed on eBay um, this is one of Skipper's friends from the mid to late 60s her name is Fluff she's actually really desirable and kind of expensive if I had her in her clothes she would go for about a hundred dollars but she can easily fetch about 60 bucks, which is really cool. Um, I also found one of these figurines of the red-headed bridal Barbie, which I, you know, guys know I slowly collect these things, and usually they're broken, but this is solid plastic. This is really cool. So that was really neat to find. Uh, I gave one of the things already away because it was in this bag. It was a little uh, spirit horse like the sh Netflix show like little doll um, so that went to Michael and then I found the heart of Tafiti Moana necklace and it I forgot how this works oh yeah there's a button in the back it does work so that was cool and then there's just a barrette thing on in there I didn't care about that really and then a couple pieces of milk glass to this on eBay, which I get, this is a toy channel, nobody really cares, but there's just two milk glass bowls, just going to be listed, and let's see, oh, we went to Dollar Tree for an emergency and found some stuff while we were there, uh, let's go ahead and show you the first couple and then I'll show you my one I'm most excited about. Um, if you guys don't know, you need to check your Dollar Trees for Barbie licensed clothes that they sell like at Walmart and stuff like that. They have them there. There's the Bugs Bunny shirt that's Barbie licensed. I took all these out of the package. There's the Twee Bird one. This can probably fit a small BJD. And there's a DC, um, almost a superhero girl, um, but it's a super girl shirt. And then right by the register, Will kind of got me excited um i put it on my dc superhero girl doll you guys know i love teen titans go well will found me the teen titans go starfire shirt and i put it on my dc superhero girl starfire it looks kind of cute on her i also kind of did her hair up because i have two of these so that was cute and also at dollar tree is these like they just finally put these out these toy story 4 sticker books 
and I did buy some sticker packs, but they're not finished, and there's Ducky and Bunny on the back. Um, oh, there's one of the stickers. It's Giggles McDimple, who I thought was a villain, but is not necessarily a villain. Make a root for you guys. Okay, oh, and Dollar Tree also has miniature um, Toy Story 4 figurines, and so I got Bob. They didn't have Forky, otherwise I've got him, because I don't really have any Forky stuff. Um, Michael brought over some goodies for me. I am super grateful. I love them to bits. Um, this is a little mini Soma, or Somo, Soma, yeah. Little, it's almost like if Gem and the Holograms and Sailor Moon were a little figurine. They made all kinds of random things. They made little wrestling ones and all kinds of stuff like that in the late 80s, early 90s. I remember seeing these like Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So it's just a little piece of history. Um, also, a Tokidoki Unicorno. Uh, this is Bowie. I have a big plushie of him as well. Um, he's probably going to go on my bag in this move for motivation. I actually bought one thing for Michael. Um, was this vintage Charmkins wallet to go in my tiny, tiny Charmkins collection. This is from 1983. Hasbro. It is in really great condition. I remember the day she found this. It is really nice. There's one more thing I'll probably have to pull out of uh, the other room that Michael also brought because I actually burst into tears when she <laughs> pulled it out of her bag of goodies. Um, but if you guys just saw what I just grabbed, okay, I don't, it looks like somebody stepped on this or put tire tracks, but I don't, I, I didn't do it. Okay, there's this Snow White one, and you're like, what is this? Um, just lithographs. I absolutely love Disney lith lithographs for the kitchen art or living room artwork. You can frame them up and they look amazing anywhere. So I have Snow White that she found me, and... This giant one is Cinderella. Love Cinderella stuff. Okay, so there's that one. That one. I think there's some more for Cinderella 2. Uh, Twist in Time, I believe that one is called. But I love, um, yeah, Cinderella 2. No, sorry. Cinderella 2, Dreams Come True. And then it was Cinderella 3, a Twist in Time, which all of them are good. Uh, if none of, like, if you guys have never seen those, I highly recommend them. Um, it's the first time when a sequel, like, set of sequels is actually good. And Peter Pan 2 is also like that. So then the last one is Monsters, Inc. Um, I have a few more of these somewhere. And I think I've already packed them away. So, we've got the crew. The doors do not want to stay open. We've got Mike and Sully. We've got... Sully and Boo. We've got Boo. You guys can't already tell I absolutely love Disney. And I'm going to go grab the last final thing for this video. And the final thing is also a Disney thing. Michael pulled this out of her bag of goodies. It is Mrs. Ness, but... Nes Mrs. Nesbitt, oh my gosh, I can't word. It is the Buzz as Mrs. Nesbitt with the teapot, and I absolutely love it. I think the only one of this collection I have is Bo. I only have like three Toy Story Pops. I have Bo, I have Woody riding RC, and now Mrs. Nesbitt, and I adore it. So, that is the last thrift haul thrift haul in this house sadly but there will be way more thrift hauls I have been promised many a thrift haul to continue my eBay store and stuff like that so you guys will be seeing if I get anything from my collection it'll probably be small uh, yes I will be collecting but just tiny little things for now I mean if you guys have seen my collection I do collect a lot of miniatures and stuff like that so it's not something new I will probably finish doing this room tour video that I am actually currently in the middle of filming before ending this, and then we will do Will's stream room probably tomorrow, because I'm a little too tired and it's been too hot to do anything. So I will see you guys on the next video, and I will miss you guys, actually. So, bye.
I guess. And so I have the lights on for you guys for the end of this tour to see how it's all the way around the room. I'm going to really miss this room, but it's not the last time I'll have a toy room. I'm just going to miss how I had it laid out in here. You know, when you move, you don't know what your layout's going to look like. But I also love decorating, so I think I'm going to enjoy decorating everything. Bye, guys.